Hi guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and in this video I'll be showing you how to install a passive infrared or a peer motion sensor into a Sonoff, a Sonoff S20 and still keep the button functionality. So what you want to do is uh, you want to 3D print the STL file that I'm going to upload in, uh, onto the Thingiverse, uh, sand down the edge remove the clear cover from the, the Sonoff and with the top facing upwards insert the 3D printed part into the clear cover now what you want to do next is grab the uh, front plate insert it into the hole grab the back side and put it in place like this and make sure that you can press the uh, the button make sure that you can hear the click and if you do that's all right now you know that uh, everything is working uh, with the movement now you can remove the 3d printed part again from the clear part like that and grab your pair remove the uh, lens cover and the other thing that goes around the uh, peer sensor and now if you insert it into the uh, 3d printed part you'll see that it's not uh, long enough to fit now this is all right because we'll be fixing that uh, what we need to do is we need to remove this plastic header spacer pin spacer like that so now it's removed and we need a 3 pin jumper cable set uh, and we're going to cut that in about uh, let's do it right here this length then insert it through the hole the slotted hole at the bottom Alright, so they're sticking out now. Grab your wire stripper and strip the ends. Grab your soldering iron and pre tin the wires. Well, I need to first pre tin my soldering iron. There you go. Now, what you want to do is pick the, the sensor up and remove the second cap if it doesn't uh, come loose place it now you want this edge of the cap to precisely align with the edge of the 3D printed part so we need to cut the headers I think yeah to halfway so about here cut the headers because they are too long of course now you don't want to touch the uh, pair and I accidentally did so it's clean Alright, now you need to take notes, of course, of the um, the order your wires are going in. The if you've uh, oriented like this with the transistor facing up, let me check. This is VCC. This is the output, and this is ground. So I think we're we're going to orient it like this. Breathe in the pins a little. Now you want to grab the pair 
and solder the wires directly onto the pins. Now you might need to uh, split them because they're one cable. There we go. that and the third one and that's the third one so now your pair sensor is uh, soldered in place now you uh, want to give a gentle pull at the um, jumper wires. Make sure by the way that they're uh, male jumper cables or, you, uh, or female if you've installed male jumper headers on your solo. And Now gently push the pair into the 3D printed enclosure. So after you've soldered the jumper cables on, make sure to remove oh, for fuck's sake, the um, black isolators. Alright. Attempt number two. And gently bend them over. So the button should be click is clicking. But I'm still going to remove them like that and grab some heat shrink. So grab your heat shrink and shove it over the pins. That's one. That's two. Three. Train them. And again, insert them into the headers, taking good care of the 
corner of the pins and uh, thus the polarity. Then insert the sensor into the buttonhole again. And gently push it down. Right, make sure that it clicks and if it does screw your ESP back together or your son of Such. Grab your lens, place it over the pair, and you've got yourself a pair on a son of with the button functionality still working. So it's now time for the uh, grand finale. Going to do a live test on camera of the, of the thing. Hope it doesn't explode. Here we go. Did I put it in the right order? I'm not sure. Ah. So I don't think I um, installed it in the right order the first time. I did now. So quickly screwed in place. Now of course, nothing happens when you push the button um, when this thing powered up for the first time because the sketch uh, is not programmed for a peer sensor at the moment and we'll be doing that uh, when we finish uh, putting it back together still click when we push it into the socket right now turn it on you can see that it starts blinking it's connecting now and it should start to go to there you go as you can see the light is doing something different and turns perfectly on turns perfectly off now now it's time to uh, switch to the computer and do the, the programming connected change com port upload let's upload it, it's um, booting Thanks for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment down below. You can also share this video with your friends if you think they will like it too. See you next time.